come on, they're getting all the good stuff without us. <laughs> this is Goodwill Shillington. We haven't been here. Well, Roger's been here. I haven't been here in a little while. When was the last time I was here? I wasn't here probably almost a week, I think. Really? That's rare for us. Yeah. So hopefully the store is not too crowded, but look at this parking lot. Ah, everybody go home. All right, this is one of our favorite stores as usual. I don't know what I'm shopping for today. I have one rack of clothing at home and I don't think I have any hard goods that aren't processed. Oh, this doesn't even wheel. No carts. No, it doesn't even push. Okay, we have an emergency, a cart emergency. There aren't any carts. That's how crowded this store is. Oh, is Roger going out to get one? Tell you what, he's a good husband. All right, let's start without him. Is this cart available? Is this yours? Nope. I wonder if this is anybody's. All right, hopefully I'm not taking anybody's cart. All right, this is lovely. It's a little bird drawing by Paul Whitney Hunter. Good job, Paul. I think I'm putting this in my cart. Roger's not even back in the door yet. He's probably wondering where I am. All right, we're gonna put that in the cart. Oh, look at the artwork. Everybody's got artwork. It's gonna be an artwork kind of day. Oh, this is quite lovely. Plastic. That's kind of sweet. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know that anybody would want that. Okay, so I just grabbed this bird print, Paul Whitney Hunter. And although it's really cute, I noticed it did have a little bit of moisture damage on the back. So even for $5, I want to make sure that I always run comps. And when I put in Paul Whitney Hunter, the prints only go for about $10 plus shipping. So there are five of them sold. And I imagine quite a few on. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it back. But I thought this was really sweet, but definitely not worth the pickup. All right, we are on the dishes tchotchka aisle. And this is a shame, a chip. Somebody did try to glue it, but I think they were missing a few pieces. This is like Tanala, PJ Mexico, $4.99. I've never had Tanala that brought a lot of money. I think the big pieces that are very detailed can do quite well. I have a tendency to really like this pottery. I'm not sure why I don't really have like a boho aesthetic, but it's just hand painted so beautifully. And even though this one is tempting, you know how I feel about chips on things, what a shame. The minute I saw this from like 15 feet away, I gravitated right towards it, but we're gonna have to leave this one, which is very sad. Look how pretty it is. All right, let's see what else is on the shelf. Maybe we can redeem ourselves. I think these are lampshades. Yep, kind of pretty. Oh, we have a piece of artwork on the top shelf. Looks like a print. It doesn't look especially old, it does have some damage. And it's just a still life floral. Not very pretty at all. All right, I think we all know this, <laughs> this brand by now. This is Pioneer Woman, one canister of, I think there's four in this set. Don't quote me on that, there might be three. What are they asking for it? $4.99. I probably won't get more than, I'm gonna say 15, but I can put it in the booth and I think it'll do well. Now I'm gonna have to take the top off Let's see if oh, I could do it right here and see if there are any chips. Nope, looks good. Has a little schmutz in there, but that never bothers us. Really looks used, but that's a really nice one in nice shape. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It's a little mixed bowl set, Pie Fairy. I want the Pie Fairy to come to my house. Who's making that? Roster, Roaster. I don't even know how to say that, but it's a mixed set. These aren't all the same pie fairy dishes. So that's disappointing. All right, what else do we see? Oh, we have a deviled egg dish. Wow, that looks like an old one. That is very cool. 
Mmm, again, chips and cracks. Not too bad, but and look at the look at the shape of the egg depression. Isn't that cool? Let's see where this is made. Feels good in the hand. Oh, made in Italy. No wonder why it feels nice. Italy makes beautiful pottery. Just beautiful. Oh, I wish it didn't have chips. I really like that one. And Easter is right around the corner. I think this would do well. But with the chips, I'm going to say no. I have never seen this. American flag plates. Alco Industries, Etsy, New Jersey. Made in China. <laughs> After all of that Americanness, the flag... Alco Industries, Edison, New Jersey, made in China. I do like those for 4th of July. That'd be very cool for a piece of pie. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at this pottery. Now, this is either going to be Italy, Spain, or Portugal. Let's see who this is. Oh, writing looks good. Let's see what this says. Oh, this is Geruda, made in Italy for William Sonoma. Hand wash, not microwave safe. $6.99, a little bit high, but look how beautiful these are. I don't see any cracks or chips. Just lovely. Oh, I really like these. I'm going to go ahead and take both of these. Too pretty to pass up. We also have a cat mug on a shelf. He's a Christmas cat. Somebody else tried to peel it off too. Christmas cats. All right, $2.99. Do I want a Christmas cat mug? I think I'm going to leave this one. He does have a very fun tail. He would be very fun to drink hot chocolate out of. All right, what say you? Should I have gotten a Christmas cat mug with the top for $3? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave him. All right, what else do we have? We have a little figurine of a young couple. He brought her flowers. Sweet. A shell that's been dremeled or drilled. Huh, that's a shame. Oh, what is this pretty plate? <laughs> I love when I pick something up and I'm quiet. It's like, I got nothing. I'm not sure what's going on. Did somebody paint this? There's no branding. No idea. They kind of match though, look at them. I think she's asking him, please honey, can we get the plates? All right, that is that. All right, the cat might really be a mistake. Is that a mistake? Should I grab him last minute? <laughs> All right, I'm taking him. He'll be my one mug for the day because I heard you guys say, you should get him. Let's give a little look-see down the wood aisle. Um, cookies. Oh, rolling pins, laser engraved rolling pins. How much do they want for these? $3. I can't imagine that these would bring more than 10 or $11. So I'll probably leave these on the shelf. Very cute. Look at that. You can press a little flower rolling pin into your pie and be very fancy. Be the fancy person at the party. Those are kind of cute. All right, let's keep going. We have a lazy Susan. And I'm not sure, what is it, like little jelly jars or jam jars that go in the circles? WP. All right, what does WP stand for? It's not William Sonoma. Hmm, I have no idea. I'm probably just being silly. WP. Who makes WP that's knives? Are we supposed to know this? I have no idea. All right, so they are clearing the shelves here also, which I always say is a wonderful thing. I love when they clear the shelves. Makes it a little bit harder to film. Boy, that's a pretty knife block. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, but at the same time, that means they're expecting to bring in a lot more. $2.99, that is a beautiful piece of wood. I kind of like this better than the slanted ones, better than that kind. I don't know why. I only have like two big knives in my kitchen. <laughs> we do have steak knives, but yeah, I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. These aren't wood, these are metal. $2.99. Oh, I'm running out of this battery. What'd you find? You're being very musical today. <laughs> We're gonna start a band, Yamaha. 
Tell me about your Yamaha keyboard. I don't know too much about it other than it works. <laughs> you played it? I tried it over there. It sounds good. Does it? Yeah. It's okay. Got, uh, 100 preset voices. Yeah, I don't know. All right, twelve ninety nine. Where are you going to sell that? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Probably eBay. Probably eBay. You're yeah. going to ship that? Yeah. Wow. You're brave. It's not real heavy. No, it's just big. But what do you think you'll get for it? Yeah. Probably like 75 Okay. This will definitely do better than my Casio. My Casio is in great shape. But, and I have that on for what, 80 maybe or 100? I think 80. And it has some interest, but no, no bites yet. So your Yamaha will probably outsell my Casio, I would think. It's just a better brand. All right. What else you got? This, this mini Bobs. Mini Bobs. Magnetic Mini Bobs. All Phillies. All Phillies. Yep. What are they getting for it? $2.99. What do they sell yes, for? They're. I didn't find the Phillies ones, but anywhere from 25 to 50. Okay, yeah. Depending, but this has, I think it somehow got some kind of liquid or something going on there. Oh, you mean the packaging is stained? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Moisture? Here, like the names, I'm not sure what's... Okay, you're going to have to open it and see, right? $2.99. You'll take a chance. See up in here, there's some, something spilled on it, either soda or... Okay. Something. Yeah, but your case has a lot of the dirt, right? When you pull that off, this is looking a little bit better. But see the names? Yeah. The names are smeared or something. Okay. Did you open this before, or are you no, just opening it now? First time, first time, right on film. But I could see the names are... Well, they're not too bad, maybe it's no, the packaging. No, I think it's the packaging. Yeah, look at the black yeah. on the packaging. Yeah, Mike Schmidt, Larry yeah. Boa. We might be able Pat to wash Pearl. this. Yeah. This almost looks like smoke or some kind of carbon. Kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, they like little to oh, and they're magnetic. Oh, look at his head bobble. No, don't push too hard. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with your toys. Is that what's going to, on? I don't want it to fall and break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, you are so funny. Good find. And your jersey. Tell me about your jersey, Phillies. Phillies. Yeah. yeah. Nothing special. Nothing just, special. Just okay. Five ninety-nine. Yeah. Heavy duty. That seems. It like looks a nice. Good yeah. Good finds, babe. We have the United States cutting boards. <laughs> In case you want to slice your vegetables on the United States. We have a little jewelry box. It's not too bad, but this color wood is a hard seller for me. It's like that real orangey golden pine color. What? Is this like a little gift sitting here waiting for me? I just sold one of these at the booth. I'm gonna have to look up what that brought. I had two of them. Do you guys remember these? I think this one's a little smaller. This, this is the find. This one does have a little bit of water damage from where the plant was watered. Oh my goodness, Bentwood mid-century modern plant holder. Just lovely. This is a definite yes. This is going right in the cart. Where's the second one? We need a second one. I don't see another one. Hey, honey, look what I found. <laughs> another one. Another one. I might put this one on eBay. I'll have to see. I might bring the other one home too. Is it? Okay. I think it is. Yeah, they're not heavy. Oh, I love these. Kate Spade bag, no good. <laughs> oh, Kate Spade is so heavily faked. I have a tendency to stay away from it. Look, a little iridescent bunny. Where does this come from? Not a toy, it's for decoration only, so don't try to play with it. This is so cute. Look at the luster wear. He's more modern, but I really like him. $1.99, he's going in the cart. Let me get out of the way of everybody else. This place is so crowded today. 
No chips or cracks. I think he's good. I'm gonna stick him in the cart. All right, I guess this is the official Easter section. Did somebody make this? Oh, Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane. Why did you have to write your name on the egg? What are the chances we'd find a Sarah Jane? Oh, Sarah Jane's egg broke. Poor Sarah Jane. All right, I guess we won't be getting that. Oh, here's another one. Does Sarah Jane have a sister or a brother? This child did not get their name put on the egg. Not sure what that's to. Was that glued in there? Definitely vintage. This one's not in bad shape. It's not especially pretty. It needs like some flowers or something. All right, anything else Eastery? I guess we should buy some Easter stuff for the booth. Here's a little chocolate rabbit. Again, from a mold. He's not very well done though. What is this up here? Oh, Dora the Explorer. I'm gonna take a gander down the plastics aisle. I used to look for vintage Tupperware, but I don't know. Again, it's saturated on eBay, so not that you can't find Tupperware that'll do well. It's usually the really big pieces that are very, you know, um, have, a lot of, have a lot of accessories with them if that makes sense. Oh, this looks like Lily Pulitzer, a yoga mat. Yeah, Lily Pulitzer, very dirty. I don't think I want to sell a dirty yoga mat. I do have my limits, not many. <laughs> I tell you what, when I first started and was doing only clothing, you know, selling only clothing, um, I never knew that a couple years later I would be filling the bathtub and soaking vintage clothing and mending and there were a couple years there that got really crazy but at the same time I wasn't filming for YouTube so I did have a little more time than I have now. I really have to make wise decisions of what I pick up, you know, how much work I can put into something. Okay, just ran into a friend, so we had to shut the camera off and talk for a little while. So shout out to you, Steve. I know you probably don't watch my videos, but I always enjoy chatting with you in the store. He's a full-time reseller. What else shall we look at? Here's another end cap. There's a big vase down there. This looks like it just came from Ross. Let's see if there's a sticker on it. No sticker on it. Not especially eventful. It's kind of plain says the girl who has a whole beige house. <laughs> All right, this past weekend we did a lot of yard work, preparing the yard for the coming warm season. Very excited to be outside again. Uh, we weeded gardens, we cut out the beds. What else did we do? We put preen down in the gardens to try to keep back the weeds, which is always a thing. Lots of weeding at my house. All right, games, I think I'm gonna pass. It's just too much. All right, <laughs> can anybody guess what I thought this was? I saw this from two aisles over. I did not see the sticker on the bottom and I'm like, could that possibly be? I thought it might look a little bit off. I've never seen one in person. I thought this was my first glassy baby. I was like, is that a glassy baby? And I was in the middle of a conversation with somebody and I'm like, hold that thought. And I ran the two aisles and grabbed it and I said, okay, keep talking. But when it was in my hand, I thought, oh, that doesn't look good. This is Laredo Candle Company. Oh, I'm so disappointed, but at least I know my eye is good. That if I ever find one, if I ever find a glassy baby, I should be able to spot it. All right, I might put this in the cart anyway. Okay, we are back on the wood aisle because the people putting stuff out have been up and down this aisle. Ooh, this is lovely. This looks teak. Teak tray, have I sold a teak tray before? I think I might have. What do they want for this? Oh, it's made in Thailand, upside down. $2.99 yellow tag. What do people do with trays besides hope for breakfast in bed? I'm not quite sure. This would be pretty on a shelf that just as a backdrop. I can give you four different uses for any piece of wood because I love wood. I'm going to take this though. Three dollars. That is a good find. And I do think it's teak. I am jumping over to the shoes section and I found these shoes. 
They do have a little bit of wear. And of course, the soles are marked with the price, $9.99. These are J. Crew, beautiful leather. It's like a chukka boot. And I'm thinking I could probably get about 35 for them. So really nice condition, very little wear. I'm looking for the price inside to make sure. Yep, $9.99. I think these are good. These are a keeper. I looked through the handbags quickly. I didn't see anything. This one's kind of cute. It is a crocheted The Sack. I don't know, should I get this American flag? For $5, I am going to grab it. Thank you to everybody who told me the difference between The Sack and Le Sport Sack. I do remember that. For some reason, I didn't remember it. Let's check the inside of this to make sure that it's clean. Can she unzip her purse with one hand? Is she that good? Probably not. <laughs> nope, it's not gonna happen. Okay, this is what the inside looks like. Pretty good condition. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. I think that'd be very fun for like 4th of July or parades. I'm gonna take a quick look at wallets and wristlets. Oh, this is a very sparkly one. Look at that with my nails, that's pretty. This is kind of like a boho bag. A leather wallet, what does that say? It's got some horses on it, but it's not coach. Levi's, that's kind of cool. Oh, this is like a vintage tapestry needlepoint, $3.99. Oh, it is vintage. Look at that. Would somebody want to carry that? $3.99. Okay, that's nice enough. It's odd. This is gonna be a very long tail. I don't know that somebody's gonna wanna just put a few, a few letters in it. That's what it almost seems like. Uh, a few bills in it, some credit cards. The inside is a little schmutzy. Should I get this? I'm gonna take a chance on this anyway. All right, what else? We've got a velvet one up here. We don't want that. I don't know who's making that. I don't even know what's going on there. Is that fish? What are we looking at? I think it's just a design. Hmm. We have a Vera Bradley that's seen better days. Another one of those funny wallets, fans, fish, not sure. A red wallet with a coin purse on the outside quite worn out though yeah that's got too much wear let's see who makes it though this is Buxton I see a lot of Buxton wallets some of them are quite good all right I think that's it for here yeah we're gonna go back to handbags and give it one more look let's see if we can find something else besides the American flag the sack who's making this one it does feel like leather. Let me, let me take this handle off and put this one on so we can look at this. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. It's okay. I guess it's fossil. Is that a fossil bag? Do fossil bags do anything? Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. I still don't know if that says fossil. It looks like it might. It's black on black, very hard. Yep. No. Trousseau? I don't know what's going on with this. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. See if we see any other handbags. Here's a little crossbody. It seems like it might be Target. This is an odd bag. I think it's supposed to look like vintage, but it's not. It's more modern. Okay. Of course, right when I'm looking at bags, a big cart gets rolled right on my way. Oh, we see a Bible. Is this a Bible? It is. It's got a lot of writing in it, so we're gonna leave that one. Jenny Buckman, I don't know who Jenny Buckman is, but she's got a handbag line. Sack roots, boy, there are a lot of different names with sack. Okay, so we have 
Le Sport Sac, The Sac, and Sac Roots. I have sold Sac Roots before. There, were, there was a time they were a thing, but now they've calmed down a little bit for me. All right, I think that's it with handbags. What's this little brown bag with the chain? Yeah, it's not real leather. All right, I think we finished that off. And here is the cart. This is what it's looking like. Um, I showed you my J. Crew shoes. All right, I think that's it for this store. Hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. So here is a little haul for those of you who have been waiting. I know that I'm not doing hauls as much as I used to. So I used to alternate shopping and hauls and I was noticing that the thrifting videos were getting many more views than the hauls. I did slow down on the hauls, but once in a while I like to throw one in. So today we're gonna do a vintage haul of a few items that I didn't show finding in the thrift store. Most of these items are mine, but a few Roger brought home. So get yourself something to drink. It's a haul video. All right, one of the first items that I do want to talk about is this dress. Now I did show finding this one. I think everything else on the table I have not shown, but I put this dress on Betsy and it is just stunning. I did want to show it to you before I start to process it. So when I bring an item into the house, when I say process it, that means everything from inspecting the item to the finished completion of listing it. And this dress is just so gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, Betsy has eaten a lot lately. Doesn't quite fit her, but I did want to show it to you on the mannequin because a lot of times clothing is just so much more beautiful and it really shows the detail of the dress with this dress being on a mannequin. I'm going to pull her back so you can see her. Like I mentioned in the video, double pleated collar. I think it's double. Yeah, double pleated collar. And then the sleeves are double pleated. So all of this ruffling just gives the most beautiful silhouette to this dress. You have to be tiny to wear this. I'm going to guess this is probably a two, maybe even a zero. But I will put measurements in the listing because unfortunately the tag is either clipped out, the size tag, or there never was one. This is Victor Costa, vintage dress. I have no idea what I'm gonna be charging for it. I'm gonna take it one step at a time with this dress and just get it in the best condition I can, ready for resale. All right, I'm gonna put her to the side. We're gonna go through everything on the table. I'm gonna show you what items Roger and I found while you weren't looking. One of the first items that I want to talk about is this pair of candlesticks. Roger found these in a thrift store and we weren't together that day. I was home working on videos and he was out thrifting. Roger goes out thrifting probably five to six times a week. Sometimes he does a double in one day. He'll go out for a few stores, come home, do his shipping, do some listing and go back out. Just crazy. When he came in with these candlesticks, he knew these were good. These are altar candlesticks, I believe, from a church. Look at the detail on these. Are these not the most beautiful candlesticks? So heavy. Two of them. Right now we have them by our fireplace, but he's getting ready to list these. They will be in his eBay store and Roger's eBay store is Leazin, L-E-A-Z-I-N. It was a name he made up years ago. He has been reselling 25 years. I'm not quite sure where his store name comes from. I'll have to ask him that story one day. But for now, we're just taking a look at the most beautiful candlesticks, solid brass, just gorgeous. I'm going to put one down because they're breaking my arms. Now they do have some holes. They're like casted holes. I'm not quite sure what goes in the holes, but you can use them just as is. So pretty. I don't know what he paid for them either. The stickers have been taken off. I think it was under $10 each. So let's say $20 for the pair. I'm going to guess off the top of my head, at least $150 to $200. So beautiful. The next item is another heavy item. I found this on the shelf. I always wonder why people are not buying these types of things. This is beautiful. Even if you don't collect cookware or sell cookware, how can you just pass this by in the thrift store? 
beautiful cast iron enamel pan Staub is the uh, brand name, S-T-A-U-B. I think we all know the brand Lou Crusette or Lou Crusade. I have always said Lou Crusade. Very similar in quality. This one, in my opinion, might be a little bit better. Just beautiful. So it is a double handled Dutch oven. I'm going to take the top off so we can take a look at the inside of the lid. The inside of the lid will give you the size of the pot. This one is a 20 and it says 7 and 7 eighths inches and it says made in France. This is the top of the lid. And the pot itself must be wonderful to cook in. I should cook something before I sell it. That would be novel for me just to cook something. So this is what the inside looks like in beautiful condition. And what does this say on the bottom? Made in France and it has the number on it. So beautiful in a cobalt blue. I couldn't have been happier to find this and I paid $7 for it. I'm gonna to try to insert some screenshots here or here for what this pot is expected to bring. Off the top of my head, I'm guessing probably $80. That's a total guess. I have not comped it. I didn't need to comp it in the store. When you find a Staub pan or pot, you know to pick it up. The next two items I found on uh, a shelf in the thrift store, the same thrift store. They are both stone, two different kinds of stone. And I'm going to show you this first one. I have found these before and they did very well. A beautiful green onyx jewelry box or keepsake box, velvet lined. Look at the quality of that velvet. You can tell it's vintage velvet by the quality of it. Just beautiful. I'm going to guess it's a cotton velvet. Velvets have different material content makeup. There are silk velvets, polyester velvets, cotton velvets. The older ones will usually be made out of a better material. The modern ones can even be like acrylic and they're just almost like a piece of cardboard. This is a true material that this is lined with. Just beautiful. Footed. They have little lion's paws as feet. I don't know if that's going to show on the camera. Velvet on the bottom. This box must be, I'm going to guess, 10 pounds easy. Just beautiful. Beautiful condition. I don't see any chips or cracks. $4.99 I paid. And again, I will try to insert screenshots for comps for all of this. I haven't comped, nope, haven't comped anything on the table. So I will get that done and put those on the screen if I can find a comparable item. The second stone items that I want to talk about are these beautiful bookends. Pick this one up again, very heavy, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think these are a white onyx or an alabaster. I think I'm going to guess an onyx again. They're like a Trojan horse in a white color, $6.99. Did I pay $6.99 each? Nope, I paid $6.99 for the pair, which is just wonderful. Now that I'm thinking about it, memory is telling me that these were rubber banded together. I'd forgotten that, or taped. I think they were taped together. I picked them up the other day, and of course I did the little song in my head, oh, please don't be cracked, don't be chipped, and um, they are in great condition. I'm going to say the tip of one ear might have a little bit of a chip, but these are carved, so sometimes it's just the way it was carved. I don't feel any sharp edges, just beautiful. I was thrilled to put them in my cart. Let me just say too, if you see something that you wanna buy, just know this is gonna take me at least two weeks to get into my eBay store. I am the type of YouTube creator who's a reseller who really lists everything I buy. I know it can be very hard to be a full-time YouTuber and a full-time online seller. To list all of this, you can't imagine the work. So it does slow me down a little bit to be filming a lot, but I wanna make sure that I list everything and sell everything that I am buying. So I don't re-donate, I don't, you know, just get rid of my items. I really wanna sell everything I buy because I feel like what I find here in Pennsylvania is just amazing, it's astounding. And I always wanna share this stuff with you guys. So if you see something you want, know it's gonna be about two weeks, maybe sooner, so keep an eye on it. You can always set a notification alert for you right in your eBay account. You type in what you're looking for and it'll say, 
say something like alert me if this item gets listed. So that way you don't miss out on either bidding or purchasing something that you see. All right, moving on to something much lighter. Thank goodness they're still rubber banded together. Two little teacups. Are these not gorgeous? I love these. Now, I generally don't buy teacups. I just don't. I There's so many teacups out there that it can just be um, that you get into picking up cups and they don't sell and um, they're not really worth much. These I felt were great. This is Shelly England and this one is called Rock Garden Fine Bone China, $1.99 for the two. They're so beautiful. It's like this one is a um, is a Monet painting. That's what it reminds me of. So pretty. And when you hold it up to the light, you can see through it a little bit because it is bone china. So anytime you want to tell if something might be bone china, you hold it up to the light and it's almost like transparent a little bit. Just so fine and beautiful. So that is the first cup and saucer that I bought for $1.99. And this one was sitting right by it. Not the same brand. Let me take the rubber band off. Off. I haven't processed any of this on the table. Again, $1.99. I love this color. Okay, so this one is called Victorian uh, Radsfords Bone China, and it looks like it says Flinton. It's a little bit worn out, made in England again. So just lovely. Can you imagine sitting around and just relaxing in a garden, drinking tea out of one of these? I can't even picture that lifestyle, but I think, I think I'm ready. Sign me up. <laughs> so beautiful. $1.99. Again, I'll try to put screenshots on the screen if I can find a cup that's similar to that one. All right, the next two pieces are pottery that I did show, or I should say are dishes um, serviceware that I did show, and I think I filmed it too quickly. I really wanted to share these with you. They are two large serving plates. Here is the first one. This is Grazia de Ruta, and it is William for William Sonoma and hand washed, not microwave safe, made in Italy. This is the back. So it's an Italian-based um, company that gets commissioned by William Sonoma. I would think, now don't quote me on this, I would think that this pattern would be exclusive to William Sonoma since it has their name on the back. I don't think William Sonoma would want um, this same exact platter to be able to be purchased in other stores. I would think that, my mind tells me that, I would think that William Sonoma commissioned this pattern and um, it's beautiful. This is the epitome of Tuscany style, in my opinion. And there is the Grazia de Ruta, again on the back. I paid $7, $7 each, and um, just stunning. I will probably sell these on eBay because in the vintage booth that Roger and I have, items like this are not really desired in that area. When you have a vintage or antique booth, I am quickly learning that what I sell in the booth really has to be the type of item that that general area has. So you figure within 20 or 30 miles, um, people are gonna live that visit that store. I mean, you will get visitors from out of town, but the majority of people that walk through any given antique or vintage booth are going to be people that live in that area. Now, I'm not saying that nobody else comes to visit, but the majority, the day's traffic is going to be mostly people that live within a certain radius of that antique or vintage booth. Also, your customers might be other sellers that go to that booth. I know I buy a lot at our booth uh, location. Roger and I have opened up a vintage booth. We are in Old Factory Antiques, O-L-D-E, in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. If you ever see some of our bigger items and the booth is doing quite well we are having a great time stocking in with all kinds of items that are too big that we don't want to ship anymore we used to ship a lot bigger roger is still shipping some big things but i have pulled back a little bit because of youtubing i can only get so much done in one day all right so those are the william sonoma platters and i think they're just lovely okay here is a service set of a large wooden bowl 
Look at the beautiful wood on this. And it is stamped on the back. Normally when I find a bowl and smaller bowls set like this, I picture salad. But these bowls are huge. Now this would work out well for me because I eat salad almost every single day. I'm very excited for salad. After all of these years eating salad, whenever I see a good salad, I'm like, oh, salad. It's almost like a dessert for me. And I do load it up with a lot of healthy things. And then I usually top it off with olive oil, croutons, and cranberries. So that is the treat part of it. I go down a rabbit hole. But look at the size of these bowls. I mean, they're bigger than my hand just beautiful, made in America, and it looks like it is stamped Wood Craftery. I have not uh, looked that name up either. I found four smaller bowls with the large bowl, and the funny thing is the shape of the bowls vary just a little bit, and it could be because they are truly handmade. I'm not sure about that, but um, aren't these gorgeous? Just beautiful. I don't know what people, why you would have, maybe pasta? I don't know that a wood set would be made for serving pasta. Leave a comment down below if you think this is for salad. I wish I had a salad bowl. I mean, this is really a good size bowl. This almost is like a serving bowl size. Um, if you think it's for salad or you think it's for like pasta or something else. But um, what did I pay for this? I did get it all taped together, so I paid one price which is just terrific. I'm so glad Goodwill is going back to that. And I believe I paid $9.99 for the set. I took the tape off of the set and with the tape came the sticker. I'm pretty sure I paid $10, just gorgeous. And um, there are a lot of wood bowl sets on. You can find a lot of teak ones, monkey pod, um, handmade bowls are just gorgeous. I love finding the handmade wood bowls that came from my area. We have a lot of woodworkers that are so talented in this area. I am right near Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and the arts and crafts that goes on in this community just stunning. So I love wood bowls. I love wood everything, but I was especially happy to find this set. We're gonna do one more item because I don't wanna turn this video into an hour and a half long video. Some of you say that you would like that. Quite a few of you say that you love the longer videos, but when I look at my watch time in the analytics in YouTube, it shows that generally most viewers will watch a video up to 45 minutes, if that long. Many times only 40, 30 minutes, something like that. So for me to make a video that's an hour and a half long, it's just a waste of everybody's time. All right, last item. Again, Roger found this one. I love when he comes home with just the most beautiful treasure. And I'll be at my desk working in my office and I could see it in his face and I'm like, what did you find? I want it right now. And here is what he found yesterday. He walked in with two of these. This is solid brass. Let me grab the other one. Again, very heavy. Okay. Are these not the most beautiful candle sconces? They hang on a wall. They're gilted. Hollywood Regency, laurel leaf, double. Look at the cup on that. Candlesticks. I want to hang these in my own home. If my own home, I don't know, maybe we could bear this. I would put these up for a good long while before I let him sell them. Now they are his item, but we trade stuff all the time. We look at each other's stuff. We are having the best time ever. This is my best advice. If you are a reseller and you are single and you are looking to get married, marry another reseller. It's just so much fun. Now I have to say a lot of times it's like, we have to say no more work talk, but I have to say, looking back, I couldn't have married somebody that wasn't a reseller. It would never happen. My whole life is centered around thrifting and antiquing and auctions and reselling and talking vintage. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna guess top of my head, probably 150 to 175 for the pair. Does the man not have gorgeous taste? Of course he does. All right, so that is the haul for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you guys would do me a favor, if you have enjoyed any of my videos, would you do me a favor and give me a thumbs up and hit the like and subscribe on the way out? Thanks so much. Go out and get what's yours.